So we made it up to the woods last weekend and I have a lot more footage shot last weekend that we're going to show you in this video. But we're going to do it after I show you how the log loading ramps work. And if you can't tell there's a log on here already so that means I already filmed it. That's how we knew we were going to publish the video. We wanted to make sure we had some kind of a success. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy it and I'll catch you on the other side of it. Baby calves, yep. Yeah. Babies? They sure do. Cause that's what I thought. They won't be healthy as they didn't have right? Right. Daddy. Yes, sweetheart. Do you have um the like camera thing that I can see myself? No, not right now. Uh oh. Go ahead, keep cranking. Keep cranking. Harder. Yeah, keep going. Doing great. Almost down. Almost. A little quicker. It's gonna get dark. Daddy's scared of the dark. Uh, you are. Maybe. Look at the sun. Oh, it's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, but look at it. Didn't you say you are afraid of dark? Okay, hold on. Let me see where you're at. You say you're afraid of dark? I watched the video of you. Stop. There's nothing with you, always sounds like something. Well, I was doing something. What were you doing? Watch the video. Bedtime. Oh. Yeah, but uh, okay. One here. Good one there. 
some real good ones in here.
<laughs> Alright folks, well, I would say that that is a success. Now moving forward, going to the woods this coming weekend, the sawmill's coming with us. We're going down Sunday, this video will come out Saturday, or tomorrow, and uh, basically I'm very happy with the way that worked. That could not have worked any better. Now this is a pretty light log. This is a, a white cedar log, so it doesn't weigh a whole lot. The stuff we're going to be doing is a little bit heavier, but this is a bigger diameter than most of what we need up there. I also have an, about an 18-20 foot long pine log over here. I'm debating on whether to try it or not, but like I said, concept worked phenomenal. Little jib crane worked phenomenal. So how I decided to power this is I'm going to have the four-wheeler up there anyway. So rather than screw around with charging a battery all the time or keeping it on the charger while we're down there, I just decided to put alligator clips on everything we're using with the winches for skidding the logs and all that. We're going to run it off of the four-wheeler. Now if you noticed, uh, I don't know if you guys saw it in the video, I don't even know if I showed it, I'll find out in editing, but... That is a Yamaha 660 Grizzly, the one I was talking about earlier this winter that I had to get going because uh, it's nice to have two wheelers that I can log with. Now, two old wheelers, but like I said, that's a 660. It's in really good shape and it's got a brand new rear differential and CV axles in the back end. Everything's good, all the fluids are good, all that. That said, that little 400 Honda Foreman, it's a 20-year-old machine. That thing performed beautifully. It does not get much better than that. I can't ask for any more than that. And I'm also going to tell you guys, because uh, I already blocked one viewer who was a dick in the comments. Um, I'm not a professional logger. I never claim to be a professional logger. I've never sat on this channel and told you how to take a tree down, and I never will. There are thousands of people on this planet better at doing that than I am, and you can get real proper instruction from them. So as I've said in videos past, do your own research, find your own information, learn from professionals. I'm just a nutsack farmer slash HVAC guy out in the woods on the weekends doing his thing. That was funny that you did that. <laughs> you were so quiet for a second, I forgot you were here and Daddy should really watch his mouth. Yeah. But um, anyway... We're going to keep going with it. Uh, we're looking at trying to get up there just about every weekend we can. This one has a, a dance recital tomorrow morning, so of course she's not even in the camera frame and she's trying. She's trying so hard. But um, like I said, to me, when I'm going after timber or I'm cutting trees down, the only thing that matters to me is I didn't drop the tree on myself, I didn't land it on anybody else. And it went fairly close to where I wanted it to go. If I've accomplished oh, yeah. <laughs> those three things, I don't care how the technique looks. It's all about walking away from those jobs without getting hurt. So, anyway, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thanks for watching, everybody. I hope mm -hmm. you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Uh huh. Yep, you will. But Dad, can you keep that out so I can talk? Yeah. Okay. All your Put friends. your legs down, you're showing your underwear. Okay. Okay, just like that. Just like that. You gotta be a little lady. Now tell them what you want to tell them. Uh, I'm sorry. I have to get out of the way. Uh, oh, you want me? Okay, hurry it up though. The battery's dying. Um. Uh, I don't know what to say yet.